we got the counterbalance shaft put back into place make sure your seals go in the right spot and this is very important that little hole up top that's to lube the little bearing and that has to be in the middle what I do is I got a syringe with oil in it two stroke oil and I just squirt a little bit in that hole right there now for the important shit when you got your crankshaft put in there and your counterbalance shaft you got to make sure those two dots are aligned if those two blue dots are not aligned <sighs> you're gonna fucking destroy this engine in a hurry so now we've got our end caps in make sure double check make sure everything's in there properly the bearings are sitting in there right the seals are sitting in right nothing's being pinched make sure the pins are in the right spot and, and when I'm talking about the pins I'm talking about those and if you want to know where those go in the engine itself it has sides where the pins will sit and that'll keep your bearing from spinning so go through make sure all that's good and if that's all good <clears throat> we're gonna silicone this up and get ready to seal and I'm gonna show you how to do that so I got a piece of plastic and some silicone on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my roller. This is gonna be a fucking mess. And then now the other day, the crankcase we sealed it up got it ready to start putting the pistons and top end back in however we're not done yet if you don't do this important piece you're gonna have an engine ruining day you gotta remove this plug right here and add 40 mils of 30 weight oil into that hole and that's for the counterbalance and that's what keeps <coughs> your counterbalance bearing right here and everything else looped up so make sure you got to put 40 mils of 30 weight oil in there Oh yeah, injecting the engine with fucking heroin. And we're going to start mounting our pistons and that arrow goes towards the exhaust side. That's very important. I'm going to show you why on this one. Now if you see right there where the piston grooves are, that's your gap where your pistons are. That's the gap where your piston ring is right there and right there. And when you put the arrow to the exhaust side, you can see the one gap there. And then the other gap there right so if you put your piston in backwards that gap is actually going to hit that opening and that's going to destroy your freaking engine or if you flip the block down that gap those piston ring gaps are going to go on this side and on that side and you're, they're not going to catch trust me i've seen it happen before where people install the pistons backwards and then it'll run for about three seconds and she'll seize up and your ring is going to be fucking piled up in the hole so don't fuck that up I like to lubricate the bearing up first I'm going with these ones it's a solid piece and put one clip on the inside of the piston makes it a little bit easier I'm going to insert this I'm going to run a rod through put the piston in place and yada 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 and I just want to show you that by squeezing the piston rings on each side I was able to get the one sleeve over now I gotta get that one on and then I push the cylinder bore down into place the next tip is that your kit's gonna come with eight o-rings and those eight o-rings go on your studs and get pushed down in the hole so we're just gonna put them on top and then use like a small pick to get them into place and then your head gasket is gonna get sandwiched on top of that all right let's look at the head gasket you got a groove side and then a flat side which side goes where the head gasket can only go on one way because of the doll pins so it goes with the rough side going up and then you put your head on top of that now this is important this has to go on a certain way otherwise your engine's never gonna fucking start that hole right there has to be after the long piece there's only there's a few short ones there's a short knob right there short knob right there short knob right there this is the long one that hole has to be just like that just like I showed you in the video and then we're gonna fucking tighten that up and this part's done alright I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but I'm gonna see if I can do it so you guys can see the oil coming out All right, 
right, so I got a lot of the shit bolted up here. Your throttle cable, you want your throttle cable adjusted. Like if you're bolted on an old carb, one that probably came off the engine, uh, your idle will already be set. So just hook up the throttle cable so there's no slack in the line. And that you can open the throttle, full throttle without any binding. The oil, there's a line on it, and that lines up with another line. Just hold on, let me try to get this set up. Uh, your oil pump has a line right there and right above it there's a line but you can't really see it on this pump but you need to line those two lines up for the oil pump and then I got the positive on the starter that's on the bottom I hooked up the other vacuum line that's on there so let's lower it into place now 